If you put people in a scanner and tell them to just do nothing, just rest in the scanner, don't do anything at all, it turns out that there's a region in the midline of the cerebral cortex um, that's known as the default mode network that just lights up, that just all of a sudden gets very, very active. Meanwhile, you're in, told to do nothing, and then your brain starts to use up energy a lot, a lot of ATP in this you know, activation in the medial uh, frontal areas. And that's called the default mode network because when you're told to do nothing, you default to activity in this mode. And when you inquire what's going on there, a lot of it has to do with mind wandering and just daydreaming. And a lot of that has to do with the self-referencing, our favorite subject, which is me, of course. So we generate narratives. I wonder how long I'm going to be in the scanner and I'm feeling a little bit contracted and, you know, because it's claustrophobic and these magnets are banging like crazy or whatever it is. Uh, you're thinking in terms of your, you, past, present and future and you're developing narratives where I'm going to go to lunch when this is over or whatever it is. And those narratives are a form of self-reference. And that's called, as I said, I mean, it's called, also called the um, narrative mode network or the narrative network and it's the story of me. When you train people in MBSR you find that another area of the cortex lights up more lateral after eight weeks of training in mindfulness um, and that that area is associated with a region called the insula and that doesn't have a, a linear time-based narrative. It's just the experiencing of the present moment in the body, breathing in, breathing out, awake, no narrative, no agenda. And the interesting thing, and this is the study, when they, when they put people through eight weeks of MBSR, this narrative network decreases in activity, and this experiential network increases in activity, and they become uncoupled. So they're no longer caught together in such a way. So this one can actually attenuate and liberate you a little bit from the constant thinking, 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 a lot of which is driven, of course, by anxiety and what's wrong with me. The story of me is often a depressing story uh, and a fear-based story. We're like driving the car with the brake on, with the emergency brake on. And if we learn how to just kind of release it, everything will unfold uh, with less strain, with less stress, and with a greater sense of life unfolding rather than you're driving through it to get to some great pot of gold at the end, which might just be your grave. Thank you.